Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to RRLN. I'm Leo Reese. Thank you guys for watching. Had a really good day uh, yesterday. Having a really good day today. And let me just give you guys a, a quick life hack or a DoorDash hack for breakfast. Get one of those uh, burritos from Taco Bell. They're a lot more filling. And then get one of those uh, hot sauce packages from McDonald's. I usually stick it in there. Because the sauce at Taco Bell, for some reason, it, it sucks. It only tastes good on tacos. They, it doesn't taste good on uh, the breakfast stuff. But if you get the breakfast uh, salsa from McDonald's, it tastes really good. Um, but I want to, that leads me to some other things I want to tell you guys. If you're out here door dashing, one of the things I can tell you is that a lot of the restaurants, the ones that get familiar with you picking stuff up, they'll generally treat you as an employee. And what do I mean by that? Usually they'll give you the employee <laughs> discount for whatever you want to buy. I mean, uh, if you have, you know, as long as you're going in there, I would encourage you guys, if you're, you're picking up stuff, make sure you learn people's names, you know, talk to them, especially if you go to us like I do. I go to about the same area every single day. So I get to know the, the people, I get to know the manager, the uh, employees that run the store. You know, they start looking at you as one of the employees. So that's one of the things that you can save a lot of money on any meals like McDonald's. I mean, Panera, uh, Five Guys, uh, Chipotle, they've all always offered me free drinks and uh free meals I, I never take them up on the offer because usually it's times i'm not even hungry but you definitely can get free stuff if you you know talk to people don't just sit in your car go out and socialize you know life is about living it's not just about you know working and, and not talking to anyone you know talk to people find out their names you know you can definitely get uh things cheaper or in most cases, you'll just get it free. Um, the second thing I want to tell you guys, uh, definitely on Saturdays and Sundays, you definitely want to come out and go out early. You will get some really, really good breakfast rushes, especially it seems more so on Sunday because people really want to relax or maybe because they're going to church. And then when they get back, they just really don't want to do anything. And it's probably because that's, you know, if you're working a traditional job, that's your last day off so you really want to enjoy it you'll notice on saturdays stores are busy restaurants is busy because people still want to go out you know they want to go out and feel like hey i'm off today let's go out and get something but on sunday it tempers down so you can make a lot of money if you come out on saturdays and you can make a lot of money on sundays right now i'm already at uh i did an instacart some door dashes i believe i'm around 60 dollars. i want to say so not bad it's about 10 o'clock uh started a little later today was a little bit tired uh once again i stayed up late uh listened to this uh guy i'm following on tiktok uh calvin harris i believe no calvin hill uh learning about affiliate marketing something i'm, I'm on really look into uh like i told you guys the independent contractor is the first step in my opinion because it teaches you first how to rely on yourself you know you're not relying on a company you're relying on doing things yourself the second step is like i told you guys finding other avenues to start creating passive income and finding other avenues to build the money that you make so like yeah when i start to turn the corner when i start to pay off this debt and now start earning that kind of money you know, where I'm making $300 a day, and if I start putting that into some assets and start moving that money into something good, you know, that can create more money, then we're talking about some real good stuff. So just want to share that with you guys. Happy Sunday, and I'll get at you guys later. Take care.